configuration so you can look at it. Um, you're gonna put this together like this. You got one side square. Okay. One side cut square, the other side's cut in a 30 degree uh, bevel. You're gonna have a 3 8 gap uh, or a root opening. We have a, a uh, flat, flat bars that are going to be used for backing our quarter inch by one. And the one you're going to use for gapping it, uh, getting your root uh, space, your root opening, is going to be three eighths, okay, like that. So that's what it's going to look like to weld inside. You're going to have a, um, an extension, an inch and a half on each side. But uh, what we're going to do is, uh, what I recommend you do is, Use these to level them off. Okay. Like that. Mm -hmm. Then you get your 3 8 space. Make sure you're square, right? You can adjust it mm -hmm. a little bit. We're going to go that way a little bit. Okay, then you're gonna use one of these like that, and, uh, and then you're gonna use a, uh, a, one of those small spring uh, clips, and you're gonna tack right in there, okay? Mm -hmm. And you can tack the, um, you can tack right in that corner, the tap to the backing to the plate, and you can do the same right there, like that, and uh, tack in the corner right in there. You're gonna have, what you're gonna have is a nice continuation of the groove. Just only tack in the corner or tack a little on the end too if you need to. Or just, no, just to tack the corner. You can tack a little bit out there too if you want. Okay. Uh, because what we're gonna do is, once you tack these four corners, mm -hmm. right, we're gonna be able to uh, turn this over. And, and, then then you, and then you're gonna do on the back side, you're going to, um, uh, tack, tack the back, yeah. So, this is the... On the back side, you're gonna have a 3 8 gap, okay? Okay, you're gonna, this is what it's gonna look like on the back side. Mm -hmm. And now, what you wanna remember is that you're, you're gonna have a specimen cut right here. You're gonna have quarter inch waist plus plus the, the, the thickness of the curve of the cut, and um, and then another half inch because we're gonna cut out a half inch specimen that it's gonna be ground down to three eighths, okay? And so you I would leave at least an inch uh, uh, free of any kind of tacking, mm -hmm. okay? And then uh, right in center you're gonna have uh, two half inch. Uh, specimens that are going to be ground down to three eighths each, mm -hmm. um, and there's going to be the thickness of the kerf, the cut right down the center too. So you're looking at um, uh, uh, a little bit over an inch that you got to keep clear here. I would keep about at least an inch and a half clear here, but here and here you can have tacks like okay. fillet weld tacks, okay? Uh, and you can get them nice and solid. Be sure that you're pressing Press. hard on this because mm -hmm. you don't want a gap, okay? Right. If uh, if this uh, was to get distorted and bow up a little bit or something, you're gonna have a, a uh, you, you're gonna have a, all, all of a sudden there's gonna be a, a, a gap between the, the backing bar and in. that's gonna cause you problems. Mm -hmm. So you don't want that. Okay. Uh, so you you get four fillet weld tacks like mm -hmm. that, and now we're gonna get and you the, say uh, an inch off each end, right? And an inch and a half in the middle. All right. Okay. Now on the other. Uh, So let's say we already had this all tacked up. Now we want to put all the restrictions. Let's, uh, yeah, and uh, again, uh, I'm not very happy that, uh, that you guys didn't clean them up, okay? Because look at all this, now we got to do it today. Okay, so here's just roughly what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. You're going to put these here to kind of uh, keep okay. it steady. All right, and uh, 
you got to now we got to make sure we mind the uh, the tolerances that are given here. So uh, between here and here, you don't have to have a, any kind of a, a space between the web and the column. Uh, it says that you can have a space of no more than eight inch maximum. Okay. So in this case, uh, uh, it, this has been welded together, and that's fine. Uh, okay, so the, you don't. Re it doesn't require space, but it, it says eighth inch maximum. You can't have a, a, a gap any bigger than that. Okay. Now down here, uh, between your column column plate uh, and, and your uh, um, your square coupon, uh, you have to have a little bit of space there. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to weld uh, against that far edge of the plate. Uh, but you're not allowed to have any more than a quarter inch, okay? So uh, right here it says quarter inch this distance, right? So this has to be up off the plate. The bottom of this column plate has to be up at least no more than a quarter inch maximum. So we, what we usually do is we put a quarter inch down in there and make sure that we maintain that quarter, okay? Like that. Now. You can't have this way set in, way in like that, yeah, no. right? Okay. So maximum you can have is one sixteenth uh, uh, further in. So you're going to be maximum quarter inch up, maximum one sixteenth in. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the 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 between the the column wall and the edge of that test coupon is going to be maximum uh, where is it one sixteenth right there, okay. Okay, so the, when you set this all up, just bear in mind this has to be in the center. It should be it, because this, this was used by many of our students already. Um, uh, and you make sure it's centered. Uh, make sure that this is a quarter inch up. There's this uh, this uh, bar can fit in there, no more than that. And then if you're looking down from where I'm looking, you can't have, I can't, uh, I'm not supposed to see any more than 1 16th. Uh, uh, set in back. Okay. Now we're gonna take this backing bar out. When we start oh, yeah, to yeah. weld, we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna, get, yeah, gonna take that out. It's just for tacking just for okay. purposes. And then you can, um, in fact, if you don't want to have that backing bar in there, you can get two more clips and just use clips here. Okay. Uh -huh. That'll be fine too. Uh -huh. Okay. Then you're gonna take them out afterwards. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? Right. All right, but this all works. Uh, so are you guys okay with uh, what you gotta do uh, on this test mm -hmm. coupon? Right. All right, do a nice job on the fit up because the fit up is 